Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Mark 9:23. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for him who believes. So yeah, everything is possible. Um, so I've lost track of. I don't even think that I podcast last week. In the last few weeks, it's gotten. A little later in the week and a little later in the week and a little later in the week and well i think last time i posted was on a thursday and then this week i just didn't i had so much going on but not a whole lot so one of my goals was to get everything done for the craft show it is done every end is woven in every everything it's all packed um ready to go okay uh I've got the headbands that I did for Halloween. I've got a girlfriend that her and I and and her sister are all going ice skating on Christmas. We've got these here, one for her mom. Um yeah, we we've, we've got it all, I think. Um I even so I'm super excited about this. I even got all 13 rows of RJ's quilt done. So, um, last week, I don't know if I've told you or not. I worked on Tori's, which her great grandmother made my grandmother. And so I repaired it except for tying it. And that's going to, I'm going to buy her some darning needles and some black yarn. That's how her grandmother had it. So, Sorry, I've got some sinus stuff going on. And my coffee is nice and warm. <laughs> anyway, so here is my tote. I have all 13 rows done. And I laid them out yesterday. I have the backing, which is going to be black. I laid them out yesterday. And there are two mistakes in them. Uh, but I'm not going to correct them. They're, they're not... So my goal was to have everything totally random with nothing back to back, you know, or stacked. So I ended up with two whites and two blacks that are stacked. Um, I'm just not going to worry about it. Uh, I think it looks cute. It's not evident to anyone but me. And so I had different people come in and look at it. I laid it out on a queen size bed. It's going to be good length, good width. I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, I have all of them done from 1 to 13, as you can see. And it one of the ones was um, this material. Oops, let's see here. It's got a little design on it. So, this one right here and a black square now the first one the first mistake it was actually where two rows meet um when i laid it out i put two of these that lined up didn't do it on purpose don't even remember doing it i probably sewed it backwards got stopped in the middle of the row and put it backwards the other one i did the black on top of a black square and I'm gonna say the same thing I probably got confused and started from the wrong side and that's how those ended up together so one is a mistake in the row and I'd have to take the whole rows apart and the other one is a lineup issue and so if I go back and it's, it's easy to say so switch rows if I switch the rows Every other row has more than that lined up to be matching. So, yeah. All right. The only other thing that I have that I'm working on is I put the sleeves in. I have the last set of pajamas that I'm making. I have the sleeves in. And I think I did. Yeah. I hemmed this one on the sleeves and the bottom. And I just have to hem the other one and put Put the neckline in so this one still needs to be hemmed on the sleeves and the bottom and then i just have to put neckline so uh 
yeah, these two are the last things that I have besides the quilt for Christmas. Um, yeah, well, that's not true. I have another gift that I need to come up with and don't know how, what I'm going to do or how. This is someone that just has entered my life and we just know we need to do her something. So I'll explain here in a little bit. Um, so the other thing that I'm still working on, all, all my other crochet has been put on the back burner until I get this done because I'm going to do this. I just have this little bit of yarn. It's starting to fall apart, which <laughs> I me crazy. But anyway, so basically I'm going to keep going with this pattern. The last row will be solid double crochets. Okay. And then hopefully my loop is at the bottom. Well, we'll just turn around and make it the top so I don't have to. Okay. So hopefully this will be long enough to come around and do this. Yep. We'll see. Um, it's getting pretty close. If not, it's just going to be a big wrap. Uh, I actually have two seams I want to put in it, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, I just love this uh, brown. It goes with just about everything. So I'm making it in the style of this right here with the armhole um, that comes out the top. So I'm hoping that it will. It is, I don't know, I don't remember how many inches I did across there. I think I did a hundred stitches, just to be honest with you. So, and I literally held it up like this and went, mm -hmm, that's long enough. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is what I've been working on. And I just have, like I said, this little bit left. So. Hopefully in the next day or two, I will get this done. Um, and then we'll see if it comes together. Uh, it might just be a smaller version of what I want. So, yeah. All right. So, why am I not podcast on time? Why am I all crazy? So, y'all know that RJ, sorry, there was a hair, went to the PRCA finals. He held his own. Now, I say this because I am super proud of the fact that he went up against five-time world qualifying champion Ryan Jarrett. Okay? And he held his own. Uh, he, the first night he got a 10-1. And the second night he got a no time. The third night he got a 9-3. He brought home a little paycheck. He did, you know, what he was supposed to. He he didn't do in the average. He didn't make any money in the average. But that's okay because he made a little go-round money. You know, as far as I'm concerned, he did amazing. Now, I will say this. And you guys know I'm a praying person. I don't. Um, I'm Christian. Uh. I don't take away from the fact that other people believe there's mojo, um, circle of life kind of thing. I mean, I live in Indian territory. I know that they believe in the great spirit and all that stuff. And who am I to judge? Okay. My personal beliefs is Christianity and I try to live that. So RJ and I have this thing and I'm going to share a little bit about, you know, this thing that we do. So whenever I know he's roping, um, I try to send him a prayer over text, like, you know, God, please keep him safe, you know, in the arena, let your light shine through, uh, just little texts. You can't make them very long in text or they won't be read. So I make them little short, sweet to the point asking, you know, God to be with him. And I normally get an amen back. So with it being the PRCA, I wasn't going to change that. So Thursday, 
I sent him a text and he came back with an amen and he got the 10 one and I was like, yep, yeah, see there, you know, just be consistent, just be consistent. Friday night, I sent the prayer and I didn't get an answer. And that's the night he got a no time. Hmm. Makes you wonder. Then Saturday night, I sent the text, got an amen, and he did his better time of 9-3. So just saying, our prayer, Bible says, like minds coming into agreement. I don't know why, but I have faith that that's what the Bible says. That's what God says works, and that's what I'm going to do. I don't know that everyone's going to believe that same thing as me. Don't care. Your beliefs are your beliefs. Don't criticize mine. Um, I won't criticize yours. But it's a story that RJ and I will tell for years to come. Um, we both, you know, and I told him, I said, see what happens when you don't say amen. Uh, and he just was like, well, I was busy. I was like, mm-hmm, sure. I said, we are never too busy for the Lord. So anyway, that happened. He did he did amazing. Okay, it's his first pro rodeo um finals, and he did awesome. He gets better every year and he makes finals more often every year, and it's awesome. So he is improving. Um, of course, Macy was there with him too. Uh, they're now engaged. I, I don't know if y'all heard, heard that, caught that, whatever. So there's that. Um, I do have one more Christmas present to make. Don't know what it's going to be yet. It's going to have to be something am, aminomally. <laughs> so, um, when I quit VCA, uh, VCA, no longer does uh, Saturday appointments. And I was like, that's fine. Don't care. Uh, I do have them as my emergency vet. They have followed Worm from the time that I got him until now. But they don't do Saturday appointments, so I'm having trouble getting him his shots. His rabies isn't due until 2025. It's like a three-year. Um, but his... Uh, Annual distemper, parvo, all that stuff is due. And so I've been looking for another place to take him on the weekends to get his shots. Uh, I have found one place that I'm going to try. I've got to call them, find out what their actual uh, procedure is. They have a low cost one, which I don't need. I just need the Saturday service. They have a low cost um, vaccination Saturday, the first Saturday of the month, which is just a walk in. And I'm like, okay, I don't need the low cost part, but hey, you know, save a little money. It, it's, he has to have them. It, it's not like I can say, oh, he doesn't need it. It's just a for, these are his shots. These are his annual, you know, be inoculated shots. So, um, I don't mind paying full price for them, but what I do need is I work from nine to six every day. I need it open. So, um, I'm going to call up there today at lunch and see if what it costs. It's not low cost. I mean, if I can just get a Saturday appointment and get him vaccinated, that would be great because he's two months behind. Oh, well. So anyway, how I found out about this, that they still do the Saturday things and they have this low cost spay or vaccination thing is I went to Pet Supply Plus a couple of weeks ago and they threw this little square uh, advertisement in my bag and it was an advertiser for their brand new nail tech that is on staff and for 20 bucks you get nail trim. Now this is for the dog. Okay. I'm just saying she's a nail tech for dogs. Um, 
For 20 bucks, you can get his nails trimmed, his nails filed smoothly, uh, the hair around his pads trimmed, his pads get pad balm, he gets a spritz of cologne, he smelled like sugar cookie yesterday, and then he gets a bandana, and there was something else, I can't remember, maybe that's all of it, I don't know, but anyway, so... I took him up there and he's always nervous the first time he goes in someplace, especially since I refused to carry him the first time. I'll carry him the second or third time. The first time we're going in, I want him to get familiar. And uh, so new place, he goes in. Uh, Brie is his nail tech and she is awesome. So the first thing I have to tell her, you know, I took his blankie so he could be up on his back and blah 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 and so I explained to her that that's how we do things at home and he wouldn't let me trim nails I said I might get one and that's it uh so however she could get it done I didn't care about all the extras I just needed the nails trimmed and his hair between his paws trimmed away so that he's got breaks and what I failed to mention is I didn't text her until 10 o'clock yesterday morning and she fit me in the same day. Just saying. So, um, anyway, I showed her how we did things at home. He was a titty baby. He whined, um, cause he could see me in the store. I went shopping and he kind of shopped, found some toys, found some treats, um, found a Carhartt jacket. I did not purchase it. A Carhartt jacket for $45 for a dog. Just saying. I have Carhartt jackets. I think they cost me about, I think when I was 49 something, I'm not giving $45 for a Carhartt dog coat. I'll make a denim on myself or a duck cotton, you know, the thick duck cloth. Make it myself. It won't have the Carhartt name, but I dang sure can make it myself. And for, it was 44 90 something 95 or something like that yeah it was 45 dollars i didn't buy it but anyway so he gets in there um she did half of him with him laying on his back on his blankie and then she said he got tired because i guess she wasn't fast enough and so he she did part of it standing up as long as it got done and he wasn't hurt they didn't clip a nail too short which honestly guys that is something. So even when I take him to the vet, sometimes they get him too short. He has black nails. And I know that they try their best and all of that, but this girl didn't clip him too short. She did say that his fronts were a little longer than, which has gone longer because I don't have a Saturday appointment. He normally got those done when he got all his vaccinations. He's two months now. So anyway, um, I'm going to take him back. He's got two more appointments on the books with her because she didn't nip him. She didn't get his skin. She didn't any of that. Um, he didn't yelp not once and it didn't hurt him. So by the time he left, he was off, you know, first he goes in, he's a little nervous. And then he's got three of the ladies around there that work there. That's just eh, doing his thing. Um, but um, he's worse if I stand there with them. So I can't be with him because he acts up. He's well behaved when I'm just like my children. They're well behaved in public when mom's not around, but mom in the situation and yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, um, he got done. He's got another appointment, November 12th, I believe. I can't remember. It's that second Saturday of the month and then he's got one before christmas um the weekend that i'm off with extra time for christmas i think it's the second or the third so we got that done but um then he came home he took his bath and and of course he was amazing he always is hitch i got him some waterless shampoo stuff so that because he doesn't like water we're trying everything to keep him clean. Uh, he's over there sleeping. But anyway, we are adding her, Brie, our nail tech, 
to our repertoire of um, Christmas gifts, I will make something petish. And uh, she is the one that told us about the other place that's open on Saturdays that have low costs uh, shots and stuff. And so, yeah. All right. I think that's really everything that's gone on. I mean, including up to, to yesterday. Uh, oh, wait, there's one other thing. Hold on. So I'm back and I wanted to show you and I almost forgot it. So this is the little bandana that, um, Worm got and it's a little bit big for him, but it is only searched across the top, not the sides at all. So I think I am going to start making some of these and instead of doing the pocket to go across the collar and have to make the right, you know, size and all of that, I think I'm just going to make the dog some of these to wear. This one is too small for Hitch, but, and it's got, it was a Halloween one. And so anyway, I'm going to use that as kind of a pattern. It's a little bit big for Worm. It's too small for Hitch. But, hey, we'll get it taken care of. And I'm going to start making them some of those again. I haven't put them in any in a while. So, uh, oh, the other thing. I'll just, okay, two more things, whatever. Um, So this weekend, I did 10 loads of laundry. Now, just so you know, I did this because I did all the curtains, all the bedding, all the spare bedroom, um, my bed, roommate's bed everything every bed in the house every curtain in the house everything okay so i did all of that because i i know it's just october but i wanted to get it done and start cleaning on the house and get all the cobweb out of the corners and above the things and yeah so um reason being so I never fuss with my kids. Whatever day everybody can come together for the holidays, that's the day I take. Whether it be on Thanksgiving, the weekend after Thanksgiving, the weekend before Thanksgiving, the Friday after Thanksgiving. I don't care. I just think we should fellowship and have a meal together as a family. It's just the one thing that I've always done. Um, so this year for Thanksgiving... It's going to be the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and we're just going to come together and have a meal. We're not even going to do a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to do lasagna with garlic bread, and yeah, we're just going to do something that normally doesn't get done. Um, I am going to start working on a cookbook for Macy of all of RJ's favorite foods all the casseroles that I make that are super simple, um, she'll be fine with. Um, she'll learn to cook and RJ says him and her don't really cook together, but hey, it'll be fine. Tater top casserole, that kind of stuff is super easy. So anyway, all right, then Christmas. Now this is what I'm so excited about. For the first time in four years, five years, four or five years, can't remember how long they've been together. Um, I get my kids on Christmas, just saying, no matter how long ago it was, um, I get my kids on Christmas. I have never push this. This was totally up to them. Um, her parents are doing, uh, stuff on Christmas Eve. Corey's, uh, in-laws are doing stuff on Christmas Eve. So Christmas, the, and it's funny because this is the, the Christmas that I've gone nostalgic and gotten some things that are, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, the matching pajamas, doing the quilts with tradition and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I get my kids on Christmas and it's a Christmas of, and I've already told the kids it's a Christmas of toys. So yeah, I can't wait to show them. It, it's really cool. So anyway, 
I know I said one more thing, the little bandanas I'm going to go to making, and then somehow that led to I get my kids on the holidays. So anyway, I'm off of here. I go get ready for work. That alarm you heard is 7.30. I've got one hour to get myself ready and get out of here. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully I'll get back on track too. Okay. Uh, it's just been one of those things. Um, with any luck next week, I should this coming next weekend, I've got four days off. One day I'm going skating with girlfriends and we're going to lunch afterwards, but three days of that, I'm hoping to have this quilt laid out the backer, the batting, and then the topper and start putting the topper on. Now the way I'm going to put the topper on is the easiest way for me. So we'll see how it goes and I will explain the process as I go. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a quilt as you go kind of thing. So, all right. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.